Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Oba the Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. This is a moment that I have been waiting for for quite a while. Infection Free Zone has finally released. That's right, this is the zombie base builder. It's kind of like Last of Us. It's kind of so much more. It's <laughs> very, very cool. It's very, very interesting. Uh, and in fact, you get to play uh, and build a base in any city in the world. So let's jump into things. Now, I've kind of thought uh, it would be kind of unique to play in Rome. Uh, specifically, somewhere like here, I think, uh, where we're gonna maybe be able to sort of creep inside uh, Vatican City and maybe uh, maybe cause a little bit of havoc in there. I'm thinking that that might be kind of cool. Uh, difficulty level, medium, that's fine. Let us jump into things. I will turn off tutorial and we shall start. So, yes, if you've never seen or heard of this game before, it is the ultimate, in my opinion, uh, zombie base builder, especially sort of set in the real world. I think it's really, really, really good uh, at what it does, and the fact that you can play anywhere on Earth is spectacular. Uh, I played it a couple of times on the channel before. This is the version that is going into early access, so I'm delighted to be able to showcase this one right here and right now. And right, we are in, and we have... Uh, no, we're fine. Uh, we have got the opportunity to pick our headquarters building. This is going to be pretty darned important uh, because, in my opinion, we want to pick somewhere that is, you know, reasonably, reasonably rural-ish, but also at the same time, kind of, um, kind of on the outskirts, kind of on the outskirts, kind of surrounded by enough trees to keep us, uh, to keep us supplied. I'm thinking this area over here. La Catacomb de San Pancreazo. Hmm. Okay, that seems pretty good. Let's uh, let's choose this one right here. I will confirm this as my headquarters, and we will immediately start and get into it. So, uh, thank you very much. There's going to be a lot of uh, there's going to be a lot of information sort of coming through here. Uh, the story is not super important, but basically, uh, we are running a group of survivors. And we need to survive. To do that, um, we're going to hear a couple of different things uh, over on the radio. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter for now uh, because we will uh, we will get through that as we go. There's a couple of sort of story elements that we'll uh, that we'll kind of pick up as uh, as we work through. Now, uh, we've got a few different sort of basic objectives up in the top left hand corner here. Send a squad to find technical books. Bring scientific materials to the HQ. Indeed, uh, we've got our resources up in the top right hand corner here. We've got food, we've got ammo, we've got weapons, we've got fuel, we've got construction materials, and we have got other materials, materials with specific purposes. Uh, we have one singular group at the moment which we can use to scout and do what we like. Uh, now, we have the objective to go and find these books. Uh, however, uh, should I do that? You know what? Sure, let's go and do that first. Um, we also have got, uh, yep, objectives up here, uh, center over the HQ. We've got some research bits and bobs, which we are going to work through uh, as we go. Uh, we've got some weather forecasting bits and bobs over here. We've got some calendars, etc. So that is very, very nice. Okay, um, we can form up squads as and when we want to by clicking the create squad button uh, in the HQ. Now we've got six weapons spare. Uh, each and every person gets a weapon. Uh, that weapon is filled with ammunition. Uh, and I think forming a second squad immediately is a pretty good idea because, I mean, we want to try and secure as quickly as possible all of the different buildings that are around us, and hopefully we can create a little bit of a perimeter, because, uh, spoilers, the zombies are gonna come out at night, and we need to be, uh, on the lookout for, uh, for that. So, before I unpause, uh, there's a few other things that I should cover. Uh, we've got a little building menu over here, and then we've got an order, uh, menu, which is pretty useful uh, because it's going to allow the remaining survivors that we have, that is 32 out of 40, because if you do the maths, we got four in this group, four in the other group, um, 32, just regular citizens, uh, we can give them we can give them some uh, some terrestrial jobs, such as collecting all of this wood over there, which is exactly what I am going to do. 
Okay, uh, move out, everybody. It's time to explore. It's time to get to work. Uh, we can see the sort of area or the the visual range of all of these uh, of all of these people here, uh, which is fine and dandy. Uh, because as soon as the zombies start coming, we're gonna have to be on our we're gonna have to be on our best behavior. We're gonna have to make sure that we guard. So we can search empty buildings. Uh, we can search empty buildings for resources, and if there's anything in them, then we'll pick them up. For example, ammunition crates, that's fine. Uh, stance, move at will, and stance, fire at will. I'm fine with both of those things. That is A-OK -okay with me. But yes, we'll do a little bit of... We'll do a little bit of the searching. Vatican City is all the way up at the top there. This may seem like a pretty big map, but trust me, as soon as we sort of get down into, down into the details of business, uh, we're going to quickly find out that, you know, things aren't quite as quite as big as we thought they were. Okay, um, we are trying to scavenge this building, and it turns out that there is a horde of zombies actually already inside the building. Um, I'm just gonna hope that my people have got the ammunition and the wherewithal to be able to take them out. Yeah, took a little bit of damage there. Not exactly ideal, but I think that we can take him. There's only three left. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. You're not getting support, I'm afraid, buddy. Get into that building and get scavenging. There we go. Scavenging at 1%. Keep keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay. We scavenged this building? I think we have. Yeah, we have already. Okay, move to the next one. Move to that one, move to that one. Move to that one. Scavenge all of them as quickly as we possibly can. 7% of the way through the scavenge on the big one there. That's okay. Right, uh, we're still chopping down a bunch of wood. Uh, we've got 55 wood here. That is that is fine. It's not a huge amount of wood, but it's okay. We can actually assign uh, more workers to do this. I don't know why we didn't do that earlier, but that's, that's a little mistake that we've now rectified. That is completely fine. Uh, we've got two squads. All of the HP is, is there. We can see ammo levels, um, HP levels, etc. That is fine. Uh, there's a couple of other things that I should probably uh, note as well. We can have a little look at, uh, yep, there we go, that's pretty handy, um, the scavenge icon. So we can see at a glance which buildings uh, we have not yet scavenged, and we can also uh, toggle labels on and off. We can also sort of see specialist buildings as well. So this is a, teach a teaching facility. We can find scientific materials. If you'll remember, scientific materials are going to be the sort of crucial component for our uh, for our research if we want to get that done. So yeah, very, very much happy to see that library over there. Anything else kind of near us? There's a car. That's cool. There's a shop or a restaurant. In fact, there's a lot of restaurants around here. Love to see it. Very, very good. Very, very good indeed. Okay, we've got the technical books. Um, let's get... Let's get these guys back. I mean, it's getting towards the afternoon. We're still scavenging in the building. I mean, we might as well continue to scavenge, honestly. I'm not particularly worried. I mean, I'm acutely aware that these are two pretty big buildings that we need to get through. Uh, you know what? Yeah, make the journey back and instead... Go through some of the smaller buildings here. There we go, before getting back home. And you can... Yeah, just finish scavenging this big building and then we'll head over there. It looks like you've already found some food, some fuel canisters, and some ammunition, which I think is absolutely perfect. Okay, uh, as the evening starts to descend, sunset hour is uh, 5.57, uh, we should start to see all of our civilians head back to the headquarter building. Uh, that's completely fine. There we go. It's, it's happening, uh, as we would expect, and we are ready to sort of defend. I actually want to get everybody back. These guys are all going to take one day to recover. They're all rookies. That's that's fine. That's to be anticipated. I, I actually think that we're gonna send everybody back. We can always we can always resume scanning progress uh, or scavenging progress, should I say, uh, at a later date. I just really want to be, I want to be super hyper careful if I possibly can to make sure that everybody is back in the building and defended before the first night of shenanigans begins. Okay. Uh, the radio is active. We need a workspace that we can experiment. Yep. Okay, great. 
adapt to building into a research center, research basic antenna technology. Okay, that's cool. The the basic antenna is is pretty easy to uh, to get done. Uh, we'll start that queued up over there, and we will build ourselves we'll build ourselves a research facility building in the morning. Uh, what we can do is we can convert existing buildings into whatever it is uh, whatever it is we want. Also, any any signs of zombies nearby? No signs of zombies. I also got to be honest, this is a pretty great place, I feel, uh, to defend against zombie attacks. I feel like we're going to be able to create... What the heck is that? We're going to be able to create a really nice facility over here. Horde spotted over there. Zombies typically only come out at night. But it looks like they sort of existed down here somewhere. Uh, so we're going to have to... We're gonna have to see. We're gonna have to see about that. Okay, uh, let's get you guys out here. You guys out here, out there, out there, and over there. Okay, I'm still worried that we're gonna find we're gonna find an enemy horde down here somewhere. But if we do, I will. I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it. It's not a problem. Okay, this building is now being cleared. Excellent, move over here. And let's see if we can try and turn this building into a research center. So, uh, it is research center right over here. Let's do it. In fact, it's going to be flipping tiny. So that is, that's nothing. Uh, we don't even have a single worker to work there. There we go. We'll get our one worker. Uh, three construction material. Uh, for raw metal. It might not be large enough to be a research facility, a proper research facility, uh, but basically all of the buildings here have got a specific like amount of surface area. I think it's what determines the length of time that it takes to scavenge. It's also what determines the length of time to like build buildings and the resources needed, etc. Okay. Yeah, that does worry me, actually. Let's prepare. We need to be ready. We do need to be ready. How are we doing? We're doing good over here. That's fine. That's looking good. Okay, what else can we build? Uh, headquarters, we've already got a warehouse where resources can be stored. Is that strictly necessary at the moment? No, I don't think so. Uh, shelter, keep citizens secure at night. Uh, food production and fields. I would love to get some fields up and running. I would really like that. Uh, production facilities, we need to research them. Uh, walls and gates going to be very, very, very important. Uh, wooden towers slash metal towers, that's all going to be very, very important. Um, and in fact, I think we probably want to start to set the process or start the process of, of getting this set up as much as we possibly can. So what I'm thinking is I'm thinking that we try and build a gate... I'm thinking that we probably want to have, like, one major gate. We probably... Maybe two. Maybe a gate over here. And, like, a gate over here. I think for now, we can get away with just having, you know, like, a, a singular gate right in there. I want to make sure that anything that we build, we do... We do in pieces. I don't want to, like... I don't want to build, like, defensive structures and then not be able to man those defensive structures... To me, that seems pretty counterintuitive. There we go. But we can go into two times speed because this is all this is all working at a pretty decent rate. We got plenty of wood, and in fact, we should be able to get some we should be able to get some stuff done. We're gonna get you scavenged. Excellent. Yeah, so you can start to see the sort of rough outline that I'm gonna trace. I'm gonna try and get a perimeter around this entire base of operations. It's maybe a little bit big, it's maybe a little bit optimistic. Uh, but I'm feeling good about it, and the reason that I'm feeling good about it is that it gives us enough sort of space to be comfortable, gives us enough space to, you know, be, uh, you know, be expanding, uh, but it also, it's it's kind of small enough that I can, that I can deal with it relatively safely and easily. Okay, we're still working on this, still working on this construction over there. Has my squad fully recovered yet? Oh my goodness, yeah. Run, 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 run. You're still scavenging. It's okay. Let's get you out of here. There we go. Engage. As soon as you guys are in the building, you should be able to engage. 
There we go. You're going to try and get in, but I don't think you're going to get in. I hope not. Either way, I'm bringing the second squad around. Look at that. No chance. You know what? I'm so confident we can continue to do some... We can continue to do some supply runs over here. There's a little bit of ammo. Little bit of... There we go. A few additional resources. Get them all moved back into the base. Get them all comfortably in. It's only 10 o'clock in the evening, but if there is another disturbance, I will... I will take decisive action. Okay, get that moved back. Excellent. That's good. And one more run. Amazing. Okay, so far, no major issues. Okay, good, 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 good. Good job, everyone. Right, keep searching over here. Let's see if we can make some good progress on these buildings. Lots of small buildings. Uh, what do I want you to do? I mean, maybe... Maybe see if we can try and go to... Is there anything interesting? Ooh, a uniformed services facility. Ammunition crates, pistol, assault rifle. I would love some better weapons. Now, at the moment, I just have pistols on everyone, uh, but we can change that. We can absolutely change that. Research center is going to be completed today, which is great. Uh, I'm also going to see if we can try and get some wooden walls, I think. Uh, but also, tell you what, I'm going to see if I can try and get... I'm going to see if I can try and get some towers... I think we get a tower over here. Yep. I think that's a pretty decent sort of area of uh, of influence there. Okay. That's a very annoying wall to have to build, but it's fine. Uh, we can go just in front of this tower here. Guess we'll go just in front of this little building here, whatever the heck that is. That's fine. Building adapted. building adapted. That means that our construction is complete. That's good. Okay. This is a very, very ambitious construction project. But I'm kind of here for it. Okay. Let's leave a gap here for now. If we can defend a perimeter like this, I will be a very, very happy individual indeed. Right. Now, that is a that is some perimeter. That is some perimeter indeed. By the way, we're doing some research now. Uh, estimated research time, 10 hours. So it looks like just having one singular worker in there is absolutely fine. So that's uh, so that's good enough. Uh, is there an area of this wall that I specifically want to get done? I think, you know what? I'll prioritize getting the work on the wooden tower done. And maybe sort of some of the surrounding fortifications. Uh, it looks like some people have been automatically uh, allocated to work on different sections of the wall. That's fine. Not a big deal. You're scavenging in here. Lots and lots of ammo by the looks of things. And it looks like there's a few more resources as well in there. That's pretty brilliant. Okay. This is this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. I like the I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, right. I've got a few people that are currently not doing anything. I will dispatch them to gather wood in the immediate vicinity, specifically because I'm gonna need to get. Well, first of all, I'm going to need as much wood as possible to build all of this infrastructure. Uh, but secondly, oh, look at that. What the heck did we get? We got ammo and we got two assault rifles. That is amazing. That is really, really good. That is going to be super, super handy. We're running out of stock of what? I don't think we're running out of stock of anything. Maybe weapons? But that's okay. We're about to get a few more. Okay. You need no, no no you need to go home. You need to get home. You need to get home as well. There we go. It's only 6:30 at the moment. Nighttime hasn't properly set. 
but that's okay. Oh yeah, I see what's happened. So um, this this uh, wooden tower has been uh, has been completed. Now what happens is that we need to assign. Uh, weapons to the wooden tower we can actually select specifically what we want uh bows and arrows and we can have like workers assigned etc uh i think you know what i'll leave i'll leave uh i'll leave bow and arrows assigned for now which means that we should hopefully have a little bit of an extra supply of pistols if i'm not mistaken but it does look like one pistol has kind of just disappeared hmm weird one Okay, well, whatever the case, we're ready to respond to any uh, potential incursions onto the facility. We can always move our units out as we go. Also, headquarters looking really, really good. Uh, living quarter capacity, 40 out of 27. That's not ideal. That, to me, looks like we are over capacity. Out of pistol. Yeah, I know we're out of pistol. Not exactly amazing, but it's fine. Okay. Right, let's see if we can try and make ourselves a shelter. Living quarters for six, living quarters for 64, but it's going to cost us 84 wood. Let's get a small shelter up and running over there. That's fine. I want you to go and pick up that assault rifle. That's very, very important. And honestly... I think you just keep scavenging. This antenna is 100% going to be researched in a couple of hours. That's great. That makes me very, very happy. And hopefully we should just be able to build more stuff as we go. We shouldn't really have any issues with any of it. Okay, another incoming transmission. Some medical supplies will definitely come in handy. Uh, but if we wanted to heal more people more efficiently, we'll have to build a med bay. I'll build a med bay. Don't you worry. I'll build a med bay. Okay, uh, research antenna has completed. Now we're ready to build an antenna. Once it's operational, we'll be able to receive distant transmission again and broadcast something ourselves. Okay, very, very happy to do that. An antenna is going to cost me 20 metal. I do not have 20 metal. Let's build it like here. Sure. Build it here, and then uh, we got a couple of different options, actually, as to what we want to do. We can actually start destroying some buildings. Um, if I was to destroy this building, deconstruct this building here, we'd actually gain quite a lot of materials. You know what? I'll queue that up to be to be deconstructed. Also, our, ah, our wooden gate has got people assigned and has got two pistols. I see, I see, I see, I see. That's where our pistols went. Uh, so we've currently got the wooden tower utilizing bow and arrows. Which kind of suck. Uh, and then we got pistols, which are slightly better. Assault rifles, etc. Slightly better than that. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, we got two assault rifles right over here, which I am very, very glad about, actually. Right. Can I... Can I maybe stop and take a little look? Is there any other, like, weapon facility? Any other facility that might consider... Having weapons, agricultural building, bag of grain, fertilizer. I mean, that is useful for different reasons. Um, we can also capture the car. Let's go and see if we can try and capture the car. I'd very much like to see how that works. Medical supplies, that's nice. Fuel canister, um, more food, that's great. There might be some bad guys over there. Let's assign only a few workers because I don't actually have the steel at the moment. So no need to rush that. Okay. We'll nab the car. Ready for the ride. Okay. Um, so here's what I kind of want to do. It is like late in the afternoon, but is there anywhere around that would give us weapons? Like literally anywhere. Doesn't look like it. It looks like that police headquarters was the only one that was like reasonably near us. Even if we go further afield, anything? Expedition tile, findable resources. We could find a pistol there, but that seems like a dangerous thing to do. Agriculture, agriculture buildings, lots and lots of agriculture buildings. There's got to be some like police headquarter facilities near the Vatican, right? There's got to be. Doesn't look like the map's loading right now, but that's 
fine. I mean, it would show the police icons. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. This is it. This is it. Okay. Um, I don't think that we're going to go on this adventure today. I think we wait until we do it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to bring the car back in. Bring the car back in today. And then first thing tomorrow, we'll see if we can try and... See if we can try and get out. Car resources, that's fine. There we go. Excellent. Beautiful. Okay. Get out. Uh, actually, what I would like you to do is I would like you to exchange... Ready for exchange. There we go. Into the into there. Perfect. Squad, I would love you to drop the resources back at the base, please. Just so that we've got the assault rifles there. Uh, that would just make me feel a little bit happier. Can we continue with the deconstruction of this, please? As fast as you'd like. That would be great. And there's only like another hour of the day. We'll see if we can try and go and get like... Is that another... Is that another building? Oh, there's a tiny little building in there. Yeah, sure. Okay, task complete, building work done. It's not the building work on the antenna, unfortunately. It's more of the wall, which is very, very important in its own right. Don't get me wrong. Just not as important. Right, head back to base. Head back to base. We procrastinate enough. Let's defend. Let's defend for the night. Again, I don't want to see my, my walls take any damage or indeed my gate. Let's get the squad activated because I really would, would, uh, would not like the gate to take any action. There we go. Engage, please. We've got four people in this gate. And the structure condition is... Looks like the gate is actually holding up. Looks like they need to get through the structure before uh, before they take it. There we go. Nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ah. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Uh... Actually, get back into the get back into the base. There we go. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go 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 go. Get back into the building. The building has got plenty of HP. The structure is fine. Uh, if this wooden tower goes down, it's not necessarily the end of the world. But I need to get these two guys back into the base as quickly as possible. Uh, that wooden tower is falling. I think the priorities here is to defend the headquarters. It has to be, right? And you know what? I wonder. You know what? No, let's not let's not worry about changing changing the resources right now. I think this gate will will have the fortitude to to withstand. I think the wooden tower is a goner. That's fine. Can I create a new squad? I can create a new squad. Let's do it. There we go. Get the uh, get the uh, get the assault rifle out. Get you on there. Get you outside. Get back into the base. Retreat a little bit. Kitem. Okay. Get out. There we go. Go 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 go. Everybody move out. Everybody move out. Go go go. If we can defend this gate, that would be amazing. We did lose. Two people in the tower. Don't know if they've if they'd actually died, but... Attack. Attack. Oh my goodness. We've actually managed to withstand. And I don't think that we took a single casualty. Can you believe that? Oh boy, that was kind of close. Thank goodness we had those assault rifles. This is why we need to prioritize getting the extra assault rifles from the... Uh, where? This is why, oh yeah, this is why we need to prioritize getting the extra assault rifles from the police uh, district. There we go. Also, this is the value of having a wall. They just have to crawl around, and uh, we can apparently fire through the wall, which is a tremendously good ability to have. Okay, uh, I think... I think we did good there. I think we did great there, in fact. Okay, I'm going to disband this squad. Uh, that's going to be 
That's going to be fine. We're going to get those assault rifles back. Let's get you into the car as soon as possible. And let's get you to continue exploring. That's fine. That'll keep you busy enough. And let's go... Let's go hunting. Hunting for weapons. Okay, pause. All the way up here, yeah? That's the ticket. That's the ticket. It's gonna be a bit of a... I, I wanna say... I don't wanna say indirect journey. Uh, technically, I think these count as roads. We do travel slightly faster on roads. But that's okay, right. Antenna is looking fine. We've got 10 out of the appropriate resources. We're still working on this. We've got an incoming transmission as well. We spotted some people probably armed. They could have seen us too. I can't tell if they're friendly. I would say avoid them. Just be careful. Be careful. I'm on too much of an important excursion at the moment to be distracted by... by anything... by anything meaningless. Okay. Post... Post Italian. Uh, presumably that's the post office there. Okay, nice. Uh, let's center on the headquarters here. These guys look hostile. Enemy group. Don't love to see that. What have we finished construction of? The walls? Okay. I can... I would not leave that building. I would stand there and guard it. Yeah. Guard that there. Uh, head back over here. How are we doing scavenging-wise? Nothing. I think this is going to be a long expedition. I think we're going to be camped out over here for a little while. Which is fine. That's okay. We just have to be very, very careful. Very, very careful indeed. This antenna has got to be finished. It's, it's only four thingies away. I literally do not have a single worker free at the moment. Because they're all building this grand wall. Which is fine. Three... Three units over there. They better not attack me. I'm gonna make the... I'm gonna make a break for it back to the base. Do not fire at will. They looked like they were chasing me. Attack him. Attack him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Nice! Nice! Okay. I don't know if they actually... Well, I don't know if they necessarily needed to be enemies. But that being said... Uh, actually, I've got too many resources. But look, uh, I'm gonna get those resources. I'm gonna get those pistols. Is that, is that two pistols? If only two of them had pistols, that's still a great haul. Alright, how are we doing over here? We've got loads of ammo. That's really, really good. Anything else in the building? There's, there's maybe a few other things in the building. I think we can... I think we can do good there, actually. That's really nice. Okay, go get these resources. I know we're out of pistols. I know we're out of pistols. Also, I need to get this repaired. Repaired. Get this repaired, like, urgently, please. I probably shouldn't have waited until the end of the day to do this, but... You know what? That's that's okay. We'll just have to get those pistols into the... Oh my giddy ant. There's so many resources there. Okay, I think I'm going to create... Can I... I can't create a new squad. I'll be able to create a new squad tonight and get them out. Yeah. Uh, cancel the repair works because we need full defensive capability tonight. As soon as the workers are back in the base, we'll create a new squad. There we go. It's literally got one person in it. Victoria Campbell. Okay. 
We found a trail nearby. It looks as if a huge crowd has run and trampled everything in their way. There must have been hundreds. Have you heard something? You heard anything? Howls of monsters. Okay. Okay, I'm not optimistic. But the good news is the wall is like 50% done. It's very, very close. Get back to base, get back to base. Keep scavenging, keep scavenging here. We got more ammunition, but not much else. Do not fire at will. Hold your fire. There we go. I think that's good, because then, then ideally we don't attract the enemies. I am scared. But we are brave. We can withstand. And withstand we shall. Okay, uh, let's unpause there and see what this night has to bring for us. I'm reasonably hopeful that tomorrow we're going to be able to get the antenna up and running, uh, which is going to progress some of the sort of story-like elements in uh, in the game, which is kind of cool. I'm also hopeful we can maybe get half of the wall done and dusted. That would be really, really nice. Uh, I'm going to check on my crew over here. Honestly, they're just doing a great job scavenging, continuing to scavenge, pick up a little bit of extra ammo. Ideally, we find a weapon or something there. Okay. I go into two times speed here. I'm going to hope that these I'm going to hope that those uh those individuals are fine. Let's um let's head back to base. See if there's anything else. In fact, I can Keep a little eye on the uh, scavenging progress of the warehouse that my uh, remote team are currently scavenging. There's nothing there? Literally nothing there. Wow. Uh, I mean, that kind of sucks, honestly. I was really hoping that we would have something. Oh, are they in the car? Why would you get in the car, dude? Oh, well. Get out of there. don't really want to, I don't really want to have a sort of pursuit or a chase of any sorts. But you know what? Sure. Let's bring him back. Let's bring him back. That's okay. We can, we can deal with that. It seems like a little bit stupid because I'm just, a, I'm just, I'm going to send them all the way back up there in the morning. But bring him back now. We don't need to worry about it altogether too much. Uh, fuel is a little bit of a concern. But you know what? It's it's actually fine because it allows us to um it allows us to unload our car. Right, let's do Hold on. I need to get the squad to exit. There we go. Is it squad to exit? We need to go exchange with the car. Unpause. Exchange ready. Uh we'll set this up like so. Excellent. Get rid of that. Squad into the base. Uh, this squad, by the way, going to continue exploring around here. And you, with the assault rifle, you can just be disbanded for now. Quite happy with that. And we'll get you to work on the shelter over there as well. Cool. In fact, tell you what. Why don't you exchange with the uh, the car so that we can get the resources out of the car a little bit quicker. There we go. Fantastic. Into there and you go into the car. And then the car is going to get sent right back, which is brilliant. We also should be able to finish that antenna today. We're at 95%, which is brilliant. Very, very happy with that. You're in the car. Let's get you sent back up here. Right. That's where we want to that's where we want to check out. Okay. Nice. Let's head uh let's head home. Perfect. Okay, antenna is officially built. Very nice. Let's 
Okay. okay. That's cool. Let's start broadcasting. Uh, let's do invite. People come to us. We're looking for help. We're tired of endless wandering. Invite, come on in. Please feel invited. How many? Only a couple of people, me and my close family. Address? Okay, come to us. Come to us. We can go and escort them if needed, but actually it's not a tr super difficult journey for them, and it's kind of the morning time, so I'm feeling, you know, feeling we can survive, or they can survive that journey. There's an expedition tile over here. Somewhere. Okay, don't know, but that seems suspicious. Uh, yeah, let's just get... Let's just get this area sorted over here. Okay. Vehicle condition is fine. Vehicle fuel is fine too. It's a bit of a bit of a weird journey to take, but that's fine. Okay, we got three weapons, one pistol, two assault rifles. That's fine. There could very well be some additional some additional bits and bobs that I'm uh, that I'm missing on the map. But honestly, this is this feels pretty this feels pretty good. Okay, we've just about finished this. Let's reduce this to the absolute bare minimum. Uh, we'll leave two workers on that. We'll let the rest of the workers hopefully get these walls done in a somewhat timely fashion. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Just keep on cranking out the walls, which is fantastic. Okay, as soon as I, f as soon as I fix that little, uh, that little gap, we are going to be completely sort of shut in. So we do need to be a little bit careful about when we do that. All right, you're still coming over here. We don't know if you're good or bad yet, by the way. You could still be a baddie. But I'm just kind of hoping that you're not. Right. This looks like the this looks like the Vatican over here. Some statues around there, around uh around the, the cathedral. Very cool. Any weapons shops around here? No. Oh, yes, actually. There's one over there. We'll go to that one next. What do we got? More ammo by the looks of things. Which is fine, you know, that's okay, but... I really would rather have, uh... I really would rather have some, some weapons, to be honest. We got plenty of ammo. We got 24 ammo at the moment. So that's keeping us... It's keeping us good. Okay. Right. Uh, squad one. Yeah, you need to. You need to really be careful here. We should be able to load all of the ammo into the car. There we go. And then get out of here. Amazing. Great timing. Okay. Now I saw somewhere up there. Let's see if we can try and send them over here in the night. It's a bit dangerous, maybe, but we'll chance it. Okay. Okay. What's more curious, one of the vehicles must have a tracks instead of tires. A bulldozer or a tank. Okay. There's an enemy... An enemy uh, contingent up here, not of zombies, but of 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 goodies uh, or or humans, should I say? We need to be really, really careful that we don't run out of fuel. Although there is a petrol station quite literally next door to where we're going, so that's quite nice. Run, 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 run! Keep going past. Okay, an enemy group inside that building. Need to be super careful about that. We can take out the enemy group if we wanted to get uh, weapons. Raiders. There's a truck over here. A very large truck by the looks of things. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Maybe they didn't see me? I 
kind of can't believe that. There's three of them. And they're inside the building over there. Well, that's okay. Weather forecast is looking fine. If the... If the enemy groups, either the zombies or the humans, don't want to engage me, then that is a situation that I am totally fine with. What are we doing? We got lots, we got lots and lots of ammo. Oh my goodness gracious me. Uh, yeah, do we want to run? Yeah, I think we want to run, actually. There we go. Just, just run, just run. That's completely fine. I would like that truck. I would really like that truck. Yeah, we're super low on fuel. We might just get home. If we don't, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. There is a garage sort of on the way. I don't think we're going to make it, you know. I think we're going to have to stop here. We don't have space. We don't have space in our... We don't have space in our car. Okay, we're just going to have to, like, limp home. I guess it just slows to an absolute crawl. Not much we can do about that, unfortunately. We did increase our number of volunteers, our number of citizens, by four, which is quite nice. Uh, are we out of wood? We are 100% out of wood. Gather wood. There we go. Max that out as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're actually not that far from home. You're just kind of useless unfortunately but you know at the end of the day that's not too bad um i actually think we're gonna wrap up there ladies and gents uh this is a great game i'm really excited to see uh what everybody does with it what cities you decide to play on um where you decide to go that's kind of exciting and uh and unique uh, and of course play in your hometown as well uh it's kind of cool uh it's it's a great bit of it's a great bit of kit and you know it really is very, very, very entertaining, I uh, I feel. I feel like I've barely scratched the surface. There's obviously this whole sort of story situation going on with the, the sort of push-to-talk situation in the bottom right-hand corner. Uh, but yeah, infection-free zone is two thumbs up from me. It's in early access now. Can't wait to see what happens in uh, in this game as it progresses throughout. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.